Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little ghost cupcakes. You start with regular cupcakes, there's nothing special about them. Uh, I decided to use ready-made icing. I was making a lot of things for this party and I just wanted to make it as easy as possible for myself, I suppose. Um, I would recommend in future, if I was to make these, I would probably choose vanilla icing or just icing that wasn't chocolate because you will see in a little while why perhaps chocolate might be a little bit messy. Um, because it's very, very easy to smudge onto the white. Um, anyway, I just did it kind of messily. I didn't do anything special with this. I could have used my piping bag, but I thought there was not a lot of point because you weren't really going to be able to see this icing. Next, you're going to want your white fondant or rolled icing, whatever you want to call it. I bought mine ready rolled from the supermarket, but you could make it yourself or got the ready to roll, whatever your preference is. I chose a large mug to create the circles in the icing, but only you will be able to tell how big a mug or how big um, a cutter that you need for your particular project. It depends on how big your cupcakes are, it'll depend on how big the lollipop is that you're going to use in a moment. Now you can return to your ready iced cupcakes, choose one and get out a lollipop. Um, I actually chose the refresher lollipops because I thought that they were easiest, they were a bit sturdier and bigger on top, uh, plus I didn't like the idea of the sticky ones. And basically you're going to take the circle of fondant that we saw earlier on and drape that over the top. You have to be a little bit savvy about this and try and make as many creases as possible because it can get a little bit difficult to work with. Um, and they all look different every single time. It's very difficult to get them standardised. Um, but, you know, you have a little bit of fun with it. You can take it off and reshape it if you need to. You could always take it off and re-roll it if it went really terribly wrong. And you can see now why perhaps I'd choose vanilla frosting next time, because if you do have to take it off and re-roll it, it could already have a little bit of chocolate on it, and it just kind of spoils the white effect. For the eyes, I use chocolate chips, but you could use anything. You could use black icing. I actually used a little bit of vanilla icing on the ends of the chocolate chips just to make sure they were secure and stuck in there. And I think you'll agree this is a really simple yet effective little design for a cupcake and I hope you enjoyed this video.